Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the simple process and we will see in the simple and to the point video about blocking personal accounts from signing into Microsoft Edge. Right. So on the company devices, we want users to sign into specific domains that are under company and we only want them to log in with those accounts which are owned by company and sync those accounts to Microsoft Edge which are owned by company and they will not be able to sign in or sync with any other account which are not defined by us or not defined by company via in June portal. So let's go ahead and see this few minutes video. We will define domains for the user sign in. You can log into Intune by going to intune.microsoft.com and then navigate to devices. Once the devices section will appear, we will go to configurations because we want to create a configurations profile where we can define our required domains. Go to create new policy. Let's select the platform Windows 10 and later let's select the profile type templates here. Okay, in the template section, let's select administrative template and hit create. So, here we want to name our policy allow only account. Micro of touch. I want to add same description here. Hit next. Let's search for the policy. Uh, restrict which accounts can be used. To sign into Microsoft Edge. Right. Here we also have uh, the example that how we can edit the domain. This is the format. Like if I want to edit any domain here, I will copy this. I will edit here. Right. Uh, let's name it domain.com. And the important thing is if you want to add one more domain here, you can use this sign and then you can use the same format here, right? And then other another domain like itek.com dot com. I've added two of domains here, right? So if you read all this description this will explain to you that only the accounts that contains these two domains that will be able to log in into microsoft edge and will be able to sync their favorites bookmarks and everything that is needed except these accounts none of other accounts will be able to sign in into microsoft edge or they will not be able to sync their favorites bookmarks or anything into Microsoft Edge and this setting is device related setting right in the computer configuration so hit ok hit next I will keep the same scope tag default scope tag here if you wanna know about the scope tag or if you wanna learn about scope tag you can browse my channel and go to scope tags videos Let's go to next in the assignment section. I want this policy. If you want this policy for everyone, you can add all users, all devices, or you can add the group. Add this policy is related to device type. So you can add all of the devices, or you can also add groups here, right? By going to add groups, and you can create a group that includes the devices. And you can select that group from here and add it here but I want this policy for all of the devices. I don't want anybody to log in to their personal account or any other account into Microsoft Edge. I want them to log in with only 
the accounts that owns by company it's nice now you can review all of the settings here and you can see we have defined this policy here and hit create it will take few seconds to save this policy and it will take a certain amount of time to propagate this policy to all of the devices once this policy is propagated to all of the devices you can check the status report here one more important thing here that if you want this policy to define on user base you could also do that right? this policy also has the option to define on user base you have defined here this on computer page so in the user section just to confirm let's see restrict uh, restrict which account google accounts are allowed here we have this policy for chrome as well uh, right so this was important to explain you that's why i i came back to show you that we can assign this policy for google accounts as well right if your company owns if your company owns uh, any google accounts and the company wants only those accounts to be logged in uh, into a google chrome and sync their profile they can add that domain here and this is the example of adding domain which they want to allow here right so let me show you if i want to add any other here i can itwk.com so we have allowed only these two domain account right google account which have this domain and they will be able to log in into chrome and sync their profile favorites bookmarks or anything they need to but they will not be able to go out of these uh, requirements right they will not be able to add any other account which is not defined here right so let's save this as well uh, in the same policy for microsoft edge and for microsoft google for chrome so let's save it now we have defined a policy for edge accounts like microsoft accounts and the google accounts here so that's perfect we have learned this simple things in a simple step so we can secure our browser our devices or the browser on the corporate devices and i've gathered some of screenshot to show you that what will happen if users try to log in with the account that is not defined by the company so you can check uh, this policy in microsoft edge by uh, typing edge slash policy if this is applied to microsoft edge you will see all these details and yeah here so if you try to log in with any other account which are not pushed by the configuration profile you will get these types of errors you can try another email address or contact your assistant administrator for more information so that's it about today's quality tutorial keep watching keep sharing and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.